Hi, I'm going to show you how to use Google Drive, aka Google Docs, to create a presentation and share it and edit with several other students and finally uh, submit it to your teacher. So, to start off, we're on the Chesapeake College homepage here, and you can get to your Google Apps account through the quick links. So if I click that, it expands, and there's a link to Skipjack Email, which is our institutional Google Apps account. So if I click Skipjack, I can type in my username, which is just my first name and my last name, put together. Your default password, uh, if you haven't signed in before, uh, you can come and get one at the LRC. We'll tell you what the format is, but it should be pretty easy to sign in. And when it loads up, it goes into Mail first, so this is the email side of Google Apps. But right next to the Mail link in the black toolbar, there will be a link that either says Drive or Documents. These are really very, very similar, so it doesn't much matter which one it is, but go ahead and click on it, and it will open up Google Docs. Now this is basically a file system and a series of different basic editing software that's the equivalent to Microsoft Word and PowerPoint and Excel. And you can see I have a lot of documents in here. I have some Word documents, I have uh, some spreadsheets, I have a lot going on. But what we're going to do is we're going to click Create and Presentation for now. This opens up a basic presentation editor. Uh, you can choose a theme you can name the presentation by clicking on the name in the upper left and then typing in whatever name you want and you can add text to the presentation and you can add further slides. But I'm not going to go into all the editing features. They are more or less straightforward and they look a lot like PowerPoint. But what's special about Google Docs is that it has sharing functionality. So if I, I look at this blue share button, I can see who has access to the document. Right now it's just me and it says private, only people below. So what I could do is add another couple people at Chesapeake to this and I could work on it collaboratively with them and they would have access to it and be able to get into it in their Google Docs. So I type in their names there. It's just their skipjack name, so first name, last name. And then I can tell them whether they can edit it or I could just give it to them just so that they can look at it or comment on it if I don't want anybody to edit it. Uh, you want to make sure that you notify people by email and then just click the share and save button. The other thing you can do is you can change it from being private access too. So up here I could hit change and this changes it for everyone out on the web. So for instance, I could just make it public so that literally everybody could come in and get it. Or I could do something like make it available just to people at Chesapeake College. So these are very powerful sharing options. The other thing you can do is sometimes you need to turn in an actual file. Well, you can turn any Google document into a file if you go to the File menu and then Download and you can see it gives me several different file formats here so I could download it as a PowerPoint and I could work on it in PowerPoint if I wanted to I could download it as a PDF and then the resulting file which comes out of this I could upload to something like a, a Dropbox in Angel to turn in my assignment so you can see that hey there's my presentation already in this PDF and so that was how to get into Google Docs create a presentation, share it, and then finally download it.